Now here's the crazy part, okay? When you're playing in Logic, Logic says if you're in major to play major, if you're in minor to play minor. Rock and Roll says you can play either one. Now, there are different rules for different styles of music and it's gonna take you a while to get used to all of this, but I want you to understand the approach. If you're playing with a rock and roll concept in mind, okay? If the chord progression is major, you can most certainly play major over the top of it. For instance, major pentatonic is going to work great, okay? But if it's a major chord progression and you want it to sound more rock and roll, if you play minor pentatonic over the top, even though, again, your alert might be going off saying that doesn't make any sense, when you do it, it sounds more like rock and roll. Now, the trick, of course, is, is that you've got to get comfortable with your positions and you've got to get comfortable with being able to move through the positions. And you got to know where your roots are because you want to you want to emphasize an A when you get there. You know what I mean? And again, all of that conversation goes really deep too. But if you just think it logically, if a chord like A is being played, obviously you when you move, you're trying to get to a note A, which sounds really cool. And then maybe D comes up. Maybe then you start trying to get to a D. Then A comes back, and then E comes, here comes that D again, and here comes the A, I'm playing the 12-bar blues here. You see, so I'm trying to kind of target things as I go through this pentatonic, okay? So the really cool thing about this is, is if I was playing over this 12-bar blues chord progression, which is A, D, and E, or A7, D7, E7, or whatever, I can solo minor pentatonic over the top. I can also solo major pentatonic over the top, which brings me to my next point. I can solo both of them at any time or both of them at the same time, okay? So this is where it gets really crazy is I can move back and forth between major and minor pentatonic anytime I want. So watch this. I'm gonna rewind this. I'm gonna play a little bit of major and a little bit of minor. So I can move back and forth between major and minor pentatonic at any point as well. Now, please understand, these conversations lead to different practice, different study, different kinds of all sorts of things, but I want you to be introduced to it so you can explore it on whatever level that you want. This was insane to me because it made no sense in my brain that I could solo minor pentatonic over a major chord progression. And I remember somebody, I don't remember who it was, just telling me, look, you got to just wrap your brain around the idea because that's the way rock and roll works. It doesn't mean you can't use major because you can't, but you can also use minor as well. Okay. So this gives you a lot of different ideas of things to practice, major pentatonic and minor pentatonic, and then taking a chord progression and using logic by saying this chord progression is in this key. It's using these chords. Therefore, I should use this. But then also give a try to the rock and roll side of your brain that says, I'm supposed to be using that, but what if I try and use this and see what kind of cool stuff you can come up with?